quote, I'm not going to be the next head coach at LSU, <laughs> end quote. One Lincoln Riley, resident of Norman, Oklahoma at the time, stated on Saturday night. Then he said, next question. And unfortunately, no one said, what about USC, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> that should have been the next question. Well, you know, I don't blame him. Instead, they asked about all sorts of stuff, and he was talking about how well he works with the AD and no concerns. And, yeah, he had no concerns about transitioning to the SEC because he wasn't doing it. <laughs> He's like, I got a little get some SPF. I had to get some flip-flops. I'm heading to USC. Uh, we said this would be a wild coaching uh Coaching carousel, and uh, this one's the biggest craziness of of yet. Lincoln Riley's been raiding Cal Southern California recruits, now returns, and he can try to keep them home. Uh, thoughts on the hire? Lincoln Riley to USC. Pat? He's not won it all yet, but he's won a lot, and he's on the cutting edge, obviously, offensively. He's on the cutting edge in recruiting. Uh, USC needs sizzle he brings offensive sizzle to the table as dan noted he's been recruiting in california already and in the west on the western united states um there was a lot of wondering like where exactly is usc going and i think they wound up they may end up being the big winners out of this uh, carousel churn we'll see how it all turns out but i think lsu thought they were getting Lincoln Riley and wound up having the rug pulled out from under them. And we'll see what happens with LSU in all of this. I think there's some panic in Baton Rouge, but uh, this is uh, big, big news. You don't, you don't have coaches very often go from places like Oklahoma to USC. This is huge. And I can't wait to see how it works out. And I welcome USC back to relevance. They have their best coach since Pete Carroll. Yeah, it's a monumentous hire for uh, for SC. I don't actually think LSU thought they were getting Lincoln Riley. I really just I didn't buy into any of that stuff. I just didn't think it was real. Um, yeah, I just didn't. I, I don't think like LSU got the rug pulled out from under them. Uh, as we tape this on Sunday afternoon, I still think that Scott Woodward wants Jimbo Fisher. Now that may that door may be closed by the time this podcast populates in your feed, but. Uh, that has been his target, and I, I, I'm not saying he didn't knock on the door or Lincoln Riley or anything like that. Like, I think all these guys do their whale due diligence, right? And um, right now, Scott Woodward's whale is still uh, is, is still Jimbo Fisher after he lost in his in, in his stadium the other night, uh, Saturday night. So, but back to, to Riley to USC, I, I really think this is not only a jolt for USC's relevance, it's a jolt for the Pac-12. The Pac-12 is down right now, and it reminds me a little bit of when Urban Meyer got to Ohio State. The whole league needed a boost. It needed like an electric, uh, a, a little bit of an electrical shock. And Mario Cristobal has given that to some extent, but Lincoln Riley's different, man. It's going to be hard for skill kids to not go play for Lincoln Riley. That's really what this comes down to, is if you are the next DJ Uwe Ungalale, if you are the next Bryce Young, there is a lot more incentive to stay home now than there was during the Clay Helton era. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he does on different sides of the ball, how the staff stuff works out. There's a lot of different reverberations from all this, but right now, as as we sit here on the uh, on the first Sunday, uh, USC has won the coaching carousel. I, it would it would it would take a it would take a pretty seismic hire to top them this is one of the biggest hires in years and uh you know props to uh props to folks at usc for uh for for getting their whale he's 55 and 10 he's 37 and 7 in the uh, big 12 um he's young he's got the offense it's exciting look uh let me give this credit to usc because this is the problem that L I, I don't know what lsu is going to do that they may prove me 100 percent wrong but if you fire your coach early, you better have a plan. You can't just, and it looked, it looked until this announcement, like USC was like, uh, who are we going to ask? Like if you're, you, you use this time to set this up. Hey, they set it up, man. I mean, they set it up. Bedlam uh, ended, <laughs> you know, whatever, 14 hours before they make this announcement. So 
Uh, they, he didn't just wake up on Saturday, on Sunday morning, and there was a call, and he said, "I'm gone." I, unlikely to have how it went down. So, excellent job by USC at running their search, identifying a guy, and bringing uh, bringing in somebody who's going to add a lot of pop and should greatly change the recruiting dynamic. I mean, I expect all of those kids to flip to USC. They weren't going to Oklahoma uh, because they like the barbecue. They were going because of Lincoln Riley. And now Lincoln Riley's in their backyard. 